Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And I am using the Energy and Spirit Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. If you want to purchase this amazing deck, you can click the link down below. It's going to take you right to Amazon to purchase it. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. For the beginning of the week, I'm going to pick a card from the top middle i'm going to pick a card from the center and the end i'm going to pick the bottom card and you can also use this as a pick a card reading one two or three whichever works for you or a blended weekly reading for the beginning middle and end of the week and let's see what we have here we have mindfulness okay and this is card number one and it's such a beautiful grounded energy emanating from this card and it tells us that within you is a peaceful place, a quiet space where nothing is troublesome or worrisome. It is where your personal self connects with the truth and awareness of your soul. There is nothing to solve, nothing to predict, nothing to think about. In fact, to attain this peaceful presence, thoughts are not required. The practice of mindfulness calls for you to let go of thinking, let go of striving, and choose to be peacefully present without judgment or analysis. Your soul is a truly powerful cosmic energy, perhaps the greatest power you possess. When you release your personal striving and worry, you automatically move into the vibrant receptive state of trust and peace. This card is telling you that now is the time, the only time to choose peace. Let go of judgment, worry, and the need for control. Then take a deep breath and choose to live in your trusting heart. That pervasive peace will bring profound happiness and radiate an absolutely irresistible vibration. And, you know, living in the moment for me is what keeps me grounded because there are so many things every day that needs to get done that if I don't slow down, okay, I could be frantic, exhausted, and chaotic by the end of the day. And I'm a Gemini. I try to do way too many things. And I got to stop the multitasking because when you multitask, you're not focusing on anything. Okay, so this card's telling someone out there they need to slow down. Okay, slow down, maybe do some meditation, maybe get some me time, you know, and feel that inner peace and be mindful. Be mindful when you're eating, be mindful when you're driving, just drive. When you're eating, just focus on the meal. When you're enjoying a good book, just lose yourself in the book. Believe me, it's a, a much more enjoyable lifestyle. And then card number two, or the middle of the week is Archangel Raziel. Okay, and I must have these cards upside down. And this is Wisdom, Inspiration, Akashic Records. And this is card number 10. Okay, and when Raziel appears, it marks a time of grand openings and personal revelations for you. The Angel of Mystery begins and brings valuable guidance and profound connection to spirit. Your intuitive powers are on the rise, so get ready for amazing flashes of insight and understanding coming your way. The information you seek from the deepest, most sacred mysteries of spirit to specifics about your future, your career, or maybe even your personal life is available to you now. In fact, this card indicates that you may have been facing you know, an important decision, searching for some wisdom to guide you, with Raziel's help, the Akashic Records are open to you, providing all the direction you need. The pipeline to the unending wisdom of the universe is a well of support. You can now open the records to answer all of your questions, great and small. Invoke Raziel's presence and get ready for life-changing inspiration. Wow. And then card number three, for those of you who picked three or the end of the week, we have shamanic healer, okay? And this is cleansing and attunement. And I'm starting to see a linkage here, you know, being mindful, getting this peacefulness, and then cleansing, you know, and, and, and expecting this wisdom to come to you. I mean, this is an amazing reading this week. This is card number 17. And the shamanic healer brings you beneficial energy and personal or professional news. Some form of healing is coming your way. If you're dealing with physical issues, the shaman is here to help. Difficulties of an emotional or psychological nature can be remedied through your connections with this powerful spirit guide as well. Even community or familial concerns can be resolved. Meditate on the issue or the part of the body 
that may be problematic. Call upon the shaman to bring the eternal spirit, the divine healer to you and see or sense this power filling you up, clearing the problem and bringing radiant light to you physically, mentally, and emotionally. Ask this healing spirit to give you guidance on what you can do to resolve the issue. Since the shaman often engages in ceremonial ritual, your process may be added by lighting a candle, playing, you know, soft music, or burning incense or sage during your meditation. And wow, what a powerful week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.